everyone. And for your consideration today is this D28 with Madagascar Rosewood back and sides. This guitar was completed in 2016 and it came back in the shop a few months ago because the uh, owner wanted to, to give it to us on consignment uh, for it, uh, to sell it for him. The guitar has played a lot, it's been played a lot, has been loved quite a bit. Uh, so the owner wants to, by the way, the owner wants to sell the guitar because he wants to upgrade with something fancier. So, um, Instead of simply putting the guitar up for sale as is, we decided to invest some time in it and, and give it some, uh, basically refurbish it completely. So what we did, uh, since the back had uh, some nasty cracks that needed to be addressed, so we decided to strip the back completely of the finish and we stabilized the cracks. Now uh, there, there's no chance they're ever gonna move or any other crack to develop. Uh, so we gave the, the, the back the uh, new thin skin finish. While we were at it, we gave some thin skin treatment also to the finish of the back and the sides, even if the Laker that we used in 2006, the Laker type was a little different. But right now, after years of drying, we're very happy with the way it turned out. I'd say it's really close to what the thin finish is right now. And not actually being practically identical. Virtually identical. Uh, so, in order to to work better on the uh, on the finish, we pulled the neck and we gave it a fresh neck set. Uh, so, right now the guitar is set up for medium strings with low action, and it plays like butter. So since the owner used to play a lot with the mobile capo, uh, we uh, gave it a partial refret. I think we replaced the first eight or nine frets. I can't remember right now. But we gave it a, a fret dress and reprofile and fret polish. So right now, in terms of uh, playability, this guitar is good as new or maybe even better because it's stabilized. Uh, the wood after a few years is just, you know, it's into into being a guitar rather than being pieces of wood or a tree. Um, so, um, since, I mean, it was a very played guitar, um, lovingly so, uh, we decided to basically take care of 99% of all the bruises and dings and scratches. So, right now the guitar looks brand, brand, brand new, uh, save for maybe a little bit of very minor marks on the, on the back of the neck and maybe on the extra given to uh, some string change or whatever. So, uh, very minor thing. Aesthetically, I would give this guitar a 9.5 out of 10 right now, with 10 being brand new. And functionally, the guitar is brand new. Uh, it's you know, completely factory refurbished. And, but the plus is it comes with a lower price than a uh, new build. Uh, so this is, going to sell for 5,500 euros. This is the asking price or 5,500 euros, um, which is quite a bit less than what a uh, brand new D28 built with Madagascar Rosewood back inside would come from. And it has been played in for almost uh, five years, I think, and has no wait time. Thank you. 
on now are the Darius uh, medium uh, phosphor brown strings. What else to say? Ah, the uh, nut is one and three quarters, and the uh, string spacing and the saddle, I think it's two and quite uh, two and one quarter of an inch. But uh, look at the specs uh, because uh, we need to look that up. Um, Anyway, I'm, I'm quite sure about the, uh, the white nut. And the neck carve is a, uh, a soft V, like you would associate with the uh, vintage 1936 Martin Bradnot. So, this D28 with Madagascar Rosewood back and sides, factory refurbished, readily available. Uh, 5,500 euros. Until next time.